Leos. Subscribe. What up, players? Built up my first assault squad, and what I found by reading up on the interwebs is that tactical marines are out if you're a Blood Angels player. So. What I've decided to do is make six-man squads of assault marines that I can take in a Razorback. And I'm just going to divide the rest of my space marines up into six-man squads. So, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, I don't remember exactly what came off of what sprue. Some came off of the commander sprue, some came off of the assault marine sprue. Like this power weapon, I'm sure was... I, I kind of remember seeing on the the assault marine sprue I think the shoulder pad was off of the death, the death company uh, the tabard I think was from the company commander or the, the uh, space marine commander set along with this back banner and I think this helmet as well so this is a sergeant and he's got a power weapon the special weapon in the squad is this melta guy uh, I decided because there's so many. The only unhelmeted heads are these bald head guys. So I've only got two more Death Company guys with blonde hair. So I decided, okay, you know what the fluff for this guy is? Is that he used to be a plasma gunner and it got hot and it blew off half his face and kind of made him a little bit crazy and unhinged. That's why I posed him in this very brooding and threatening pose looking down looking down at his, his target like that and or, or maybe not at his target but something he just blew up with his melted gun yeah that's much more appropriate the Terminator alright here's my mark I don't remember 5-6 the beaky marine I think I got the armor right with the legs and the, the chest piece and the helmet and the studded shoulder pad. I might have missed something though. I don't know, are the backpacks, is there a different backpack or did I miss something? Not sure. I gave him a grenade hand because he is an assault marine and they've got frag and crack grenades and I just put his bolt pistol in his hip right there. Added a purity seal on him as well. I didn't know there's so many purity seals on on these frames, the space marine frames. So here's one of the blonde heads, the blonde boys. Put him on some pieces of cork that I pinned him into and super glued. And I think this robotic chain sword arm was on the space marine sergeant frame. Not sure, I don't really remember, but it's a bionic arm. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, just a regular guy though, but I wanted to give him a unique pose, unique head. So yeah, but he's just a regular guy with bolt pistol and chainsword. And these two guys also have just bolt pistol and chainsword. And I gave them the barbed wire. Uh, somebody asked me where did I got my where I get my barbed wire from, and I get it from Army Painters Battlefields Razor Wire. This is what the inside of the package looks like: 250 centimeters of razor wire, and it tells you how to use it on the back. Really simple. Just twist it around a brush handle, snip it off, and then either leave it coiled or uncoil it a bit. Put it on your models. Good stuff. I paint mine all rusted up to match my my red planet. Um, I gave this guy a, a scroll tabard, and oh yeah, also a unique Death Company chain sword. So I love that I'm still able to use the chain swords and bolt pistols and just the bits off of the death company there's so much in it purity seal i like this guy's helmet little side grill optic 
spikes on the side. Razor wire. So I'm gonna take these guys away and get, paint, get them painted and I'll show them to you when I get back. What up players? Wobots take up in this mud. I know it's been a while, sorry I haven't been posting. Things have been got, getting really busy here in IRL, as we say. And um, I just wanted to show you this update though because I finished my six-man assault marine squad that are going to be riding around in my Razorback for my Blood Angels army, the third company, the Iron Helms. So I'm going to go off and I am going to put these guys on a little display base and then we'll be right back to show you what I did for each of them. Alright players, so this is my first marine. They've all got the white blood drop on the shoulder pads to mark them out as third company just like my death company guys here's a little bit of the weathering on the legs for him gave him some barbed wire rusted after years of of war on I'm, I'm gonna assume these guys are on Armageddon because third company participated a lot in the battle of the third war for Armageddon and most of these guys fluff in history I just found by looking on into the Blood Angels Codex in the timeline they show you a lot of a lot of third company stuff which is why I think this third company is always on campaign they're always fighting for the Emperor so that's why their weather is always so rough and weathered and beaten because they don't have time between campaigns to fix the fix the look of their armor they only have enough to make sure it's working and patch together things that are too beaten up and damaged so I use a death company breastplate for him and not sure where I got the head from, it's got this little light in the corner but the arms were from Assault Company I think I got the Purity Seal from the Tactical Marine Sprue and I painted on freehand the lightning bolts for all the legs and I used transfers for all the shoulder pads like the Blood Angels insignia here chipped after years of war and like I said, the, the yellow teardrop, which I painted white with denim stone. Okay, so this is marine number one, and we'll be back with marine number two. So here's marine number two. I put a little parchment tabard on him from the, I think this is a Space Marine Commander frame. And the arm is, this chainsword arm is from the Death Company frame. I freehanded all of the all of the writing on that. Something you might notice is that the shoulder pads are rimmed in black and there is yellow for the chest crest and that is according to the older codexes like the Angels of Death Codex from 1996 where the Assault Marines had black rims on the shoulder pads and yellow breastplate crest. I think their breastplate crest might still be yellow. Not sure. Oh, you know one thing I didn't do for these two Marines, my first two Marines now that I just noticed it, was I didn't paint their helmets yellow like Assault Marines should be. So that's, that's the one thing I'm going to do after this video, but I already started filming it. So you know what? Never mind. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep filming. Okay, after this, I'm going to show you Marine number three. There we go, a yellow helmeted beaky Marine. I think I was just so excited to get these guys finally done and put a video of them up. I forgot to repaint the helmets yellow like Assault Marines of the Blood Angels should be. So here's some razor wire and a little bit of cork that he's jumping off of to clear the razor wire. He's got a grenade, and that is an assault grenade, offensive grenade, so it's, it's like he's leaping over the cover that the enemy would be hiding behind, and using the grenade to basically negate cover, as in the rule book. So I thought that was a nice fluffy little way of posing him, and he's still got his bolt pistol chained to his, his uh, holster there so that he can whip it out as soon as he's done chucking his grenade. I use the older style armor for the legs. These are the ones without the knee pads. And for the breastplate as well. It's very reminiscent of the Chaos Marines breastplates. 
and also the studded shoulder pad, all weathered and beaten up. Okay, so I'll be back with the next one. Here's my melted gunner, if you remember from my first video. I gave him a very, very garish red burn scorch mark on his head. So he does not want to wear a helmet. Because his plasma gun got hot. And so they have to replace half of his face with biotics. And then they gave him a melty gun because they didn't want it to happen to him again. And they were like, here, brother machismo, why don't you take this instead since you cannot grow your own hair anymore. And you kind of look beautiful like the rest of us blonde gods. And you can, you can take your anger out on the hated enemy of the emperor. So simple base because I put so much work into the 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 face and the the gun that I wanted I didn't want to distract with with too much of a crazy base. I wanted to give the crazy bases base work to some of the more regular marines so they would stick out more even though they're in regular marine armor. Look more interesting, you know what I mean? All right? We'll be back with the next one. All right, here's marine number 5. He's got a robot arm and some of these guys I'm gonna have to go back and, and chip up the like the insignia a little bit more I started stippling by stippling paint with a sponge on all of these insignias and then by the time I got to the fifth one it was just not looking very well so I, I decided instead to just take my hobby knife and just scrape little holes and scratches and it looks much more realistic because that's what the weathering is really doing it's chipping away at the paint on the insignia so that's what I'm gonna do like for this one I'm gonna come back in with a little hobby knife and chip it up a little bit more but don't know why this guy's not wearing a helmet his head is from the death company frame but he's got a little eyepiece augment and he wants to show everyone how beautiful and blonde his hair is, even in the theater of war. Let's take a look, little look at the base. I used two pieces of cork, glued them down, and then filled in the center with some rocks and ballast. Painted it up this muddy red, reddish brown color, which you can see getting caked on their, their boots. All right, and we'll come right back with the sergeant. And here is the sergeant. So he's got a tabard, which I think was from the Space Marine Commander frame. He's got augmentics on his helmet to enhance his vision. He has a power weapon, which I hear is pretty good, right? And the inverted red rim black shoulder pad to mark him out as a sergeant, if you couldn't tell by his back banner or his fancy schpancy blood angels shoulder pad or I did, I did the design freehand there or his fancy schpancy backpack rector which I think means leader I think I, I used the English to Latin dictionary online to and I typed in like leader or boss or sergeant and that's what came up so English to Latin dictionary awesome for those of you who don't speak Latin like myself base is really simple so as not to detract from the rest of the model as the same as the other guys and there he is all right players here's one last parting shot of my guys Thanks so much for being so patient and waiting for me to get this out. Um, you know, li like I said, all the real world stuff just kind of flew at me at once. But I'm really happy I got to finish this assault squad and get them all painted up for you. Hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. I think I'm gonna do the scouts next because um, this the the regular all this I, I knew it would happen. The re repetition of painting all this power armor all the same color just is starting to, to grade on me so 
probably scouts next before I get on to my next squad. And I'm also running out of bits, chain sword and bolt pistol bits for assault squads. I, I don't want to do tactical squads. I feel like assault squads is the way to go. And um, I'm running out of bits, so I gotta see if I can find more. I went to some some of my s subscribers suggested bitsbox. .co.uk and they were all out of the bits I need. I think they only had like some helmeted heads for the, the assault squad team. But I'm gonna look on eBay, gonna keep checking up on bitsbox.co.uk and some other websites that don't come to mind right now that sell bits for marines and look for the assault squad marine bits that I need, the bolt pistol and the chainsword specifically. I think I've got enough to build a couple more. Also gonna have to find more Meltas and when I do then I'll build another squad of assault marines but until then look out for my next scout squad also look out for these guys hiding in the shadows the dark eldar racks i already started my video for them so that should be coming out soon as you know i like to do my from box to battle vids once they're all painted so i'm gonna wait till those guys are totally painted before showcasing them off but ooh, gross i hope you like this video, I hope you enjoyed the the paint scheme. I did all the yellows now and I'm only gonna wait for these to dry before I add the final highlight so that they can be nice and bright like this guy's yellow and not that orangey color. But other than that, I'm totally done. I added additional chipping and everything should be matching and look good to go with the rest of my third company. Thanks again for watching everybody. I'm starting to ramble so I'm gonna cut this short. Hope you're all having a great day and happy painting.